Hi, in this video I'm looking at the barcode manager application and in particular I'm looking at the barcode lookup mode which I have active on the screen here and there's a few different options for this mode but in particular what I'll be looking at is the ISBN lookup option. ISBN stands for International Standard Book Number which is a number that's given to all sorts of publications including books and magazines. We can use this mode to look up the details of a book based on its ISBN barcode, which is often found on the back of a book. We have a base URL at bookfinder.com where we're looking up our ISBN number. That's where we'll be doing an API call to return the details of the book. That can be changed, but for now we'll stick with the default. I'll go ahead and save my changes here and will be immediately returned to the barcode lookup screen. I can start scanning barcodes from the back of a book. I have one here. Depending on the network connection and the speed of the connection to the server, the results might take a little while to be returned, but in this case, it was pretty quick. The book that I've looked up is Dracula, and we can see that we have the author, the ISBN, and some details about the price the lowest, the highest, and the median. We also have a list of the first 20 prices of that book, if there are 20, otherwise it will return whatever is available. We also have a URL to the bookfinder.com website, so we can select that to load the website and view the details for ourselves. We can also use this to view the cover of the book and additional details about it. Now we can go ahead and scan another book. These details will also be looked up. We have the Lost City of Z, and we have the author and the price details. I'll scan another book. Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea, and another. Three roads to quantum gravity and another the Martian. If we scan a barcode that is not a valid ISBN number, we'll get a message saying so. In some cases, the application might not return all of the data about a book within the timeout period and we'll get a message up on screen with some incomplete data. If that happens, we can simply tap the resend button and the data should be refreshed on screen. Now in this mode, we're not recording any data or saving any data anywhere. It's just a lookup and visual reference of the items that we've scanned. I hope you find that helpful. If there are any questions, please leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.